So what we're going to look at today is an easy way for you to frame your puzzle at home. So when you've got your com puzzle completed, and ideally you've done this on an assembly board that you've maybe bought online, or it could have been a board you've had at home, but it makes it a really easy way for you to assemble your puzzle at home, because then you can actually move it as one. The good thing about that is you can reclaim your dining room table as you're doing your puzzle over the period of time that it takes, and you can move it simply as one. So with your, with your picture frame like that, turn it face over on the dining room table or wherever you choose to do it. And what you need to do is remove the cardboard corners. These may either just simply slide off as they are here, or alternatively they may have some staples in the corner and you'll just need to remove the staples with some uh, pliers like that from the corner. What you'll need to do then is bend the, the metal tabs that are around the frame, you'll need to bend them back to be able to remove this board. You could either, you could either use a, a normal flat bladed screwdriver like that to bend the tabs up, or alternatively if you're using a knife, you can use the blade on a knife which is also just as effective. Once you've bent all the metal tabs back, simply lift the backing board out of the frame and put that on top of your puzzle now to make a sandwich of your puzzle. You can put your picture frame to the side and now, now you've got a sandwich of the assembly board underneath, your puzzle in the middle and the backing board for the frame. Turn it over as one and your puzzle will stay completely in place. Now we're looking at the back of your puzzle. Simply put tape across the back to keep the puzzle all intact. We use framers tape, it's a tape that you could have bought online or from one of our retail stores or you might have tape at home. The wider the tape, the easier this process is going to be for you. You're simply putting strips of, and whether you use scissors or a craft knife, you're simply putting the puzzle, uh, the tape, all the way across the back of the puzzle to keep it together as one. Once you've lifted the, once you've cut the tape, just tear off the other part gently just be sure not to lift any of the puzzle, loose puzzle pieces. Now we'll just put the puzzle to the side because it's all together as one. Put the frame back on the table. What's really important with this is that when you pick up your frame that you leave the glass inside the frame. Very important for two reasons. One is that there's no chance of breaking the glass as you lift it out and hitting it against the metal tab. But more important than that, there's no chance of breaking glass and you're kidding, cutting yourself. With this, if it, if, it needs a, if it needs a wipe, give it a simple wipe within the frame. Again, being very careful for yourself up against these metal tabs because they're very sharp. So be careful you don't cut yourself against the tabs. I can now lift the puzzle as, as one piece and, and put it in the frame. Importantly as you do this, make sure the hanger is to the top of the, of the puzzle. Reinsert the backing board like that. So simply bend back the metal tabs. And you could either use the, you can do the, use your finger for this or alternatively use the um, um, screwdriver. And that, that's simply how you complete your puzzle like that. 